Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at this product called StackBuy.com. It, it, it's, like, it's like spreadsheets on steroids. Without any coding, you can have the functionality of a database, like it says here, with, in this case, this is kind of the differentiator with StackBuy. They allow you to take that spreadsheet in that database and integrate it with APIs to build really powerful business applications for yourself. So we're going to walk through, set up a brand new account. And I'm going to show you what Stack Buy does and might be just a tool you need in your tech stack. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. Today, I'm going to take a look at this product called StackBuy.com. I mean, I, honestly, I think the easiest way to describe this is like Airtable with a little bit of steroids um, behind it. Uh, if you like Airtable and the free version of Airtable is not sufficient for what you're doing, I say definitely look at this. Basically, it takes spreadsheets and you can build them into powerful database-like applications or use cases. And then in the Stack B um, model, they tie together with API so you can automatically fetch and pull down data uh, such as email information or YouTube stats or whatever. I'll show you in, in, once I get into it. And it doesn't require coding. So uh, if you're a tech smart boss who's a little bit of a hacker and doesn't like to write API code, then this is a good, good tool that I think you're going to like. See, for example, here, uh, they've got, uh, looks like they're connecting into an API, pulling out some stock price. You can kind of see that by hitting this refresh button, it's going to pull in all of this data. So we're going to test it out and try it. And then there's all sorts. So they give you tons of templates to start with, tons of use cases. In fact, I think if we look at some of their templates, we can sort of see some examples. Like Let's look at their uh, user feedback tracker. These are actual live examples of what they call stacks. And we'll let this load in here. And there's, here's a stack. So looks very much like a Microsoft Access, Microsoft Excel. You, let's go ahead and expand this uh, so we can see it a little bit larger. But you can set, kind of see here I've got uh, a, just a table structure. And I can quickly go in and change into other sort of views uh, if I want to. So I've got a, a sort of a column-based view. They even had a concept of forms. So I'm in read-only, so I have to log in to do that but the concept is that I can start to relate all these rows with other tables behind other spreadsheets behind it so it's, it's like spreadsheets on steroids but let's go ahead and set up a brand new account and you'll I think it'll make a little bit more sense when we once we sign up we'll get a free account that's what I like about these guys it's very cost effective and they do have a free plan I'm gonna go ahead and put in my TechSmart boss email and Make sure I spell boss right. And let's put in a password and tech smart boss. And go ahead and sign up to this uh, stackbuy.com. And we'll go through their onboarding and see what it's like and how they take us through the process of uh, understanding their product a little bit better. So, all right, demographic information. I always say go ahead and fill this stuff out. Uh, I want to run my business with it. And I'm in the technology area and I am management. So, you know, that helps them know who they're, who to target. And welcome, David. That's a nice touch. I'm going to go ahead and skip their product tour because I'm going to give you the product tour. I'm going to close their uh, little prompt on the support thing here as well. And I did see a note that they're telling me here that they are only supporting Google Chrome and Firefox. I'm using Firefox, so that's good. So I'm, I'm in a good situation here. All right. Now, you'll notice that a couple things here. Uh, there's a concept of workspaces. So workspaces are, are kind of like a grouping of spreadsheets. And you can have is, you know, create workspaces. Now, I think, you, I think if we look at the, the plan, each plan has so many workspaces you can create. I can add people, add team members to a workspace and give them permissions, which is nice. So they would get access to all of these things here that they call stacks. Then there's a the concept of adding a stack. Now what a stack is, it's a collection of spreadsheets. If it was a database, thinking of a database, it's a collection of tables. So you, you're going to use your spreadsheets like tables to make applications. And what's nice here is I can also 
share and add access to an individual stack so I can have one company workspace and give individual people access to the stacks that I want them to have so I, I like the, the logical layout that they do when it comes to that let's go ahead and click in one of these and take a look at it so this is a this is an example of a of a stack it's got just one worksheet here and I can go ahead and you know add others pretty easily we might do that in a second but they've got uh, some video now what you'll see all this stuff is pretty standard I, if I if I double click in here you'll see they turn this into a drop down where I can make a selection I like the fact that these are color coded they look attractive it's a nice interface type again same type of thing project lead I can select myself because I'm the only one in this stack and then you can kind of see that there's data and when I click this refresh button it goes out there and refreshes that API and pulls that data back in and it's pulling all this YouTube information and doing some calculations now if I go over here to add a new column what they call a field it looks like you'll see they got tons of field types so you could do all sorts of things here that you want to start to collect data and collaborate it but if, I, if you get to the bottom here you see some pretty cool ones you got their formula builder you got the ability to link to other spreadsheets so that's where your database functionality comes in you can do lookups really easy so if you do a lot of VLOOKUPs in Excel this makes those very simple as well as lookup counts which I really like and then there's the API now I like this concept but I will say that the list of API's they support right now are pretty limiting I mean you're talking about clear we'll look at these a little bit more in a second but there's some nice uh, like hunter and full contact there's YouTube which this one is using and you know it's not a long list not everybody's gonna use many of these tools here but I think as they add more or they open it up where you can add more it's gonna be pretty powerful so let, let me show you how this eight th this integration works I'm gonna add a new new one and I'm just gonna call it um black widow that's coming out and I can say it's an Avengers brand uh, the trailer and now you'll see that this data is gonna be driven off of this YouTube video ID now I'm not gonna go out to YouTube and find the ID for um, black widow but what I'll do is I'll just copy this one and I'm gonna paste it in this column right here and now when I hit this refresh button it's gonna go out there and fetch all that information based on that YouTube video and bring it back in and there you'll see it filled the rest of this column for me as much as it could find at least it pulled that information in and even did its cal calculations if I change property column I can see that this calculation is taking two other columns multiply by 100 displaying it as a decimal with this precision and that's why I've got this number right here this is a formula so you can kind of see a lot of power here um, let's go back and look at another one let's look at the uh, project tracker and now this one has multiple worksheets so you can kind of see I've got multiple tabs here that I can add and these are like relationships I've got here name products contacts contact email and total number of projects and over here I've got you see these little columns here that look like that if I were to change column property I can see that those are column links and I'm linking from the clients table so it's gonna do a lookup I can pull here and you see I got all the all the different client uh, all the different tasks that I have here I'll add that in there and then that'll update and change all the things around in the other type of thing now let's go ahead take a peek at integrations and as I mentioned they're adding but this is what they have today uh, I'm expecting this will grow greatly over time it looks like a pretty good product if this picks up and then templates they give you tons of things to start from let's actually do something here let's take a look at the blog editor let's use this let's use a stack and you'll see that that'll ask you what workspace you want to put that in and I think in the trial you're able to add five stacks and there we go so now you'll see I've got this new block editorial calendar let's click in there now you see that they got all the box all these things block content keywords so this could help you manage things in your business a little bit better uh, but it also gives you a lot of good examples of how to use their product which is which is pretty cool and what I like so I can go back to stacks like that I can also add a stack and you'll see when you add a stack you can import from an existing spreadsheet you have or create from scratch so you got a couple options there so overall I, I like this product I think this product is like I say if you're using if you're using Airtable we usually use a product called Fieldbook and we did a YouTube video on that uh, a while ago let's take a peek under account see what's going on in there 
and then we'll wrap this one up. But um, pretty standard stuff. Nothing, you know, workspace settings. Let's see what I can do in here. I'm on the free plan. Okay, gives me nice uh, limitations. In fact, before we wrap up, let's take a look at uh, what their pricing model is so that we can, um, well, let's log out and I'll take a look at their pricing model so we can just take a look at that. I, on my first glance, it was it was pretty pretty affordable, including that free option that we're on here now. So let's go to pricing. Now this might change by the time you look at the video, but you can kind of see here, uh, you've got multiple tiers of plans. Each tier kind of includes additional rows in your spreadsheet or your stack, size of attachments that you can upload and how much your revision history is in terms of what you need and the number of APIs you can connect. So uh, everything else pretty much looks the same except for training, which you would expect on the lower tiers. You would not have those. Everything else looks pretty much the same. So th those are the key things uh, to keep in mind. How much rows you need, how much attachments if you're uploading things, how much revision history you need, and how many APIs you plan on connecting. So take a look at Stackby. I think you might like it. Hey. If you do like this kind of review video, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and go out and check out TechSmartBoss.com and see all the other things that we're doing to help entrepreneurs. Talk to you next time.